Hello, my friends. Welcome to today's session. Today's session is going to be a very interesting topic, as we'll be talking about black soldiers fly. Yes, you heard it right. Black soldier fly is a really interesting concept that has been popping up in a lot of parts of the country, where you can cultivate and grow small insects which are very high in protein, and you can feed it to your uh, farm animals. It's a very good business, and you can with a very high profit margin. So today we have our expert, Miss Anupa, Miss Mrs. Anupa, who will be talking about this as she has a lot of experience. She is the co uh, CEO of Kowai BSF, and has been in this industry for more than three years. She although she is an MBA by profession, but uh, after working for in Singapore for a few years, she decided to come back to India. And started her journey in black soldier fly farming. Now I'll be inviting her soon to talk more about her journey and how she'll be even uh, telling you guys how you can start this too. So this will be a one-hour-long session in which we have prepared a special presentation which we'll be sharing and all the concepts of black soldier fly and how you can start it, what are the economics behind it, what we should be careful of. When we are starting this business, everything will be covered, and at the end of this session, we'll also be having question answers. So, if you have any questions about Black Soldier Fly, then this is the right moment. So, do not miss this. Do watch this whole session and do share it with your friends and family as well. So, before I invite Mrs. Anupa, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Mohit Jain, and I am the founder of Rocket Skills. Rocket Skills is an online learning platform. Where we teach you all the agri businesses uh, on our platform and get you the best experts in each of these topics. We have courses ranging from organic farming, bioflog, mushroom farming, polyhouse, hydroponics, beekeeping, dairy farming, goat farming to BSF now as well. So all these topics you can come on our platform, learn from the best experts in the country, and then start a business. And we help you throughout your journey. Our aim is to help more and more people start their business in agriculture and make a profit out of it. So, guys, if you want to start your agri business, then do go on to rocketskills.in and know to know more about our courses. So, I won't further delay this. I will invite Mrs. Anupa and will request her to give you a brief introduction about her, and then we'll start this session. Hi, ma'am. Hi, hi, Mohit. How are you? Thank you, ma'am. I'm great. How are you? Good, doing good. Thanks for such a lovely introduction on about me and about the BSF farming as well. Thank you. No problem, ma'am. If you can introduce yourself briefly and why you chose BSF, and then we can, I think, start the presentation today. Fine. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing in this uh, lockdown scenario? Hope everyone is safe and healthy. Uh, I am Anupa Velusami. Uh, I hail from Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. Uh, I own a company by name of uh, Kovey BSF. We are uh, dealing in black soldier flies farming uh, since uh, 2018. Uh, basically, uh, I'm an engineer and IT professional. And uh, as Mohit told you already, uh, gradually the career started and uh, i always wanted to get into business and i never thought i would be into uh, bsf farming but it was an exciting journey as well so now i'm a proud uh, bsf farmer so uh, here i am to uh, share my knowledge and learnings what i all had for these years with you uh, via this course thank you so, so much ma'am yeah yeah. We are super excited for this session and I hope all of the uh, viewers today are excited as well. So before we start, uh, everyone, I have two small requests uh, from everyone. First is that now you and uh, you know me and Anupa ma'am, we have introduced ourselves. Now we would like to know you as well. So in the comment section, do mention your name and your place from where you are. For example, I would like Mohit from Delhi. So do mention it because we would love to know from which part of the country our viewers are from today and we would like to know more about it. 
and the second small request is that if you like this video then do uh, if uh, if you enjoy this uh, webinar session do like the video and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to share it with your friends because knowledge increases if you share it so it it is not like money that if you share it your uh, your wealth will decrease but if you share knowledge then it increases so do share this uh, uh, webinar session with more, all of your friends and family who would be interested in starting a bsf or a business by which they want to turn a profit this is a very exciting uh, topic and personally i am very excited because i am also thinking of starting this in the backyard of my farm because i have heard from my customers that you can actually turn a very good profit in this so let us not waste any second do introduce yourself and share this with your friends and family and do not forget to subscribe to our channel so i'm sharing the screen and uh, over to you ma'am you can uh, the stage is all yours thanks mohan so uh welcome all for uh, a short introduction about uh, black soldier flies farming so uh, this is the most uh, happening uh, field around the world and the entire world is getting excited about uh, black soldier flies farming just because uh, it is proving to be a, a big sustainable source of protein Uh, see the protein industry as such is um, thriving hard to find a sustainable source of uh, to just to feed our uh, uh, poultry and the fishes and even for human consumption so uh, the back soldier flies industry worldwide is uh, thriving and uh, in future the projections and estimations are huge so uh, it is most happening and uh, this would be the right time uh, to start a psf farm because uh, if we grasp the potential early it's going to take a long run and uh, we'll be able to take part in uh, grasping all the opportunities uh, early so having said that uh, i'd like to give a so short introduction about myself uh, i am a engineer basically and i had a, a software professional too then later i joined a uh, mba for uh, uh, understanding more about business and uh, i did my mba from uh, birla institute of management uh, majoring in uh, retail management i also got an opportunity to uh, uh, learn uh, international uh, business from uh, rohan business school france and basically the business education gives a uh, much more theoretical knowledge and the practical experience we gain uh, in business over the years proves to be really uh, helpful so after my mba i joined uh, bata india private limited as a district manager i was one of the youngest uh, district manager and bata india i must say it's a huge organization providing a huge opportunity to uh, for the learners uh i learned a lot about um, retail operations in my uh, tenure in bata india so and uh, i got to rent work with a lot of people uh, and uh, learn from them as well so after marriage we moved to uh, singapore uh, i joined as a enterprise accounting executive in uh, rowan associates singapore the experience i had from uh, the accounting firm is i learned a lot of uh, financial part of business see business um, the major uh, main uh, uh, idea for uh, in business is to handle the financial things so uh, it was a great experience also so how i started uh, getting into uh, bsf uh, is uh, actually i started from scratch i was in talk of onix and i wanted i was looking for live feed for my fishes and i happened to have my own composting unit as well so i found bsf in that and i started digging more to learn about it so i had a small uh, uh, setup for uh, bsf uh, that was my total lab i was doing all sort of mistakes and exper experiments uh, in that lab at one point of time i know it's going to uh, i just have to move on to the next level so uh, i went to waste uh, for changes uh, surabaya indonesia 
uh, where I took a five-day course, and Mr. Bram and his team was supportive. And uh, I got a basic idea of uh, how to scale up BSF as a business, uh, as a commercial farming. Uh, after coming back to India, I slowly started to set up uh, uh, the infrastructure requirements and uh, slowly started uh, developing, developing my uh, BSF production. See, those were the days where uh, if we make any mistake and if culture cr crashes, we won't even have a mother stock supply. So I almost crashed it for uh, three, four, three times, uh, mostly three times, totally I crashed uh, uh, my entire uh, culture and uh, had to start from the scratch. It was challenging, but uh, I had a good learning curve. I learned a lot. I did all mistakes possible so that now uh, I can uh, actually know what exactly is going wrong. And um, over the years, we developed this uh, skill of uh, totally understanding how to handle things. So uh, slowly, uh, I, I registered my company, Kobe BSL, in 2018. And totally and steadily, we reached the commercial production level. And it was an exciting, uh, again, in marketing part, it is, it is really an exciting journey because uh, BSF has such a, is, has huge potential. Uh, but unlike uh, the other countries in, uh, in the world, uh, the product is uh, having facing a challenge to establish an Indian market. So whenever I say challenge, I feel it as opportunity. So uh, being a uh, pioneer or a first entry uh, company in BSF, so all the challenges, we took it as opportunity and uh, started developing our business. So when uh, I wanted to scale it up and um, have some more uh, uh, idea of how to take it into the business and learn about the business part of uh, Black Soldier Fly, I get into contact with uh, Mr. Adi. He's from uh, Colony BSF. Uh, he is a very well-known person in uh, YouTube for uh, BSF courses and now. Uh, he is a respectful mentor of mine. He uh, helped me to understand uh, the business point of uh, Black Soldier Flies and uh, how commercial farming uh, and the product knowledge and uh, how to take it into the next level of uh, operation. So uh, slowly and steadily over the years, we'll get to know about uh, more and more uh, people who are into the same industry. And that helps, that network helps a lot to share knowledge, uh, to um, understand uh, how uh, the industry is going. That is very important because uh, uh, we need to know that, uh, have that knowledge of, uh, in from, from every, even from uh, operational point of view uh, to conduct as a business, uh, the knowledge is a very important uh, thing. That helps, in, helps us in all the decision making from um, scratch to even simple decisions to decisions where we need, we. Uh, how to make a financial uh, decisions. Everything uh, is, uh, would be based on how much uh, knowledge we are gaining over the years in the industry. All I wanted to say is uh, from the scratch, I started and I could able to do it and reach this level. Anyone can reach this level and anyone can do it. So this is uh, another slide. Uh, uh, this is a tenure I had in my uh, place for change, and uh, it's in their website, uh, the training program I, I ended through, went through. So, uh, so uh, uh, to the audience, uh, do how many of you uh, heard of Black Soldier Flies and uh, have seen it, have tried the, to get into this farming? Uh, can you please uh, post your comment? Say yes if uh, you have already uh, know about BSF before I start. Okay, 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 okay. Now let's know what uh, exactly BSF farming is. So insect meal, uh, insect protein uh, is uh, the industry in itself is uh, developing rapidly worldwide. 
and um, they are been you know, taken as a protein alternative for uh, chicken fish pet animals and even for humans recently i seen ad uh, saying that uh, they are selling uh, protein based uh, insect based protein meat balls and uh, food recipes in air india and food panda so it is really exciting the soon how fast the insect based protein is entering our uh, food entering our to entering into the our animal speed so uh, if we see the opportunities available it is enormous and uh, the, there are so many ways we can uh, tap this opportunity the insect protein is considered as more sustainable source unlike uh, other agri based protein source or uh, fish based protein source insect is insect based is more sustainable and especially bsf because we are making use of uh, waste uh, which has been discarded which is uh, which people consider valueless we are going to make money out of that and it is more sustainable and also helps environment so the high quantity demand of uh, good quality protein source in market is there it's always there and quality protein is is a most uh, wanted thing that's happening even pricing of uh, feed uh, animal uh, animal feed is is based on the percentage of protein it has if uh, if the feed has 38% protein or 40% protein or 60% protein based on that the price also changes so it it clearly shows how much importance is given for the protein uh, source so uh, obviously bsf farm farming is going to help the environment as it is more sustainable and makes use of uh, unwanted problem because i feel uh, waste management uh, is a big problem the entire world is facing so uh, when the problem is converted into a valuable source and a solution is provided for the problem by a bsf farming so why bsf why uh, what is the reason for uh, especially so choosing bsf bsf is eats very fast yes it really eats very fast and it's uh, it gets hard for anyone to feed them because in, in whatever you give them in 2 hours 3 hours time they are going to finish it off and demand more so it is a uh, fast uh, the bio conversion of uh, uh, of bsf is really fast that helps uh, to reduce our waste as the as it is consuming fast the growth is also fast bsf uh, will grow in 10 to 12 days time from a small tiny larvae it reaches its full size within 10 days that is the shortest period where any of the animal uh, protein source can develop if you say take a uh, plant protein it's going to take almost 3 days 3 for 3 months to 4 months for so for us to so for uh, us to cultivate and uh, harvest soya if uh, we take animal protein or fish protein it's going to take 8 months to 12 months uh, to get uh, the same level of uh, protein content what we are getting from bsf within 10 days and bsf farming is an uh, is an industry where you require very less space very less investment very less labor and the per square meter yield production is the highest if you compare with any other animal protein source even uh, plant based protein source so you can grow a lot of uh, you can yield get a yield a lot of yield in a small space that is making that is a very big attraction for uh, many companies to get into bsf farming so if we uh, talk about the economics behind bsf farming so there are two uh, people who wanted to learn about bsf farming in two two uh, ways like uh, some wanted to have their own farm to feed their own uh, chicks uh, their fishes so they want a, a small to medium scale where she set up to feed their own uh, chicks and fishes and some really wanted to get into bsf farming as a whole product where they are going to sell the pro bsf as a product to other uh, maybe poultry or aquaculture or for pet industry so
So in both the ways, base, I'll tell you how uh, BSF is more advantageous. Before going to that, uh, who are, uh, who came here to learn about BSF uh, to give a uh, live feed for their uh, poultry chickens? Please say yes. Or for fishes. Uh, I mean, I, uh, I'm asking this because uh, who is going to uh, consume the, their production in their own farm? So just to we'll know uh, how how the audience is what they are expecting is there for their own uh, they want to cultivate BSF for their own farm or uh, uh, many interest to uh, do their farming BSF farm uh, to go about as a product. Please say yes. Okay, okay, so when we see the economics point of view, we are going to see it in uh, two uh, perspectives. One is for uh, people who wanted to use uh, BSF as their uh, own, uh, to, uh, as to consume within their own farm, either poultry or fish, uh, to feed even to their own pet in a small home scale unit. The next one would be BSF, uh, uh, farmers who want to get into a uh, BSF business. So in next slide, I will be able to mention, uh, show you the details. So before going to that, I will uh, discuss uh, for for people who want to get into BSF farming to give their own products. I will discuss with you what are the products, what are the various products that is uh, possible from a single farm. See, uh, BSF, uh, we can as an unprocessed BSF, you can go for BSF egg sale, uh, BSF uh, five dolls. The five day five dolls D O L S is a day old larvae. So BSF as five dolls, small larvae sale. BSF as larvae sale, the grown out larvae uh, sale, or BSF as pre pupae sale. See, uh, people who wanted to start uh, their own uh, BSF farm or uh, want to regularly feed uh, live BSF to them, they will be interested to, in um, BSF uh, X and uh, BSF pre uh, because from there you can start a BSF culture. And uh, like in shrimp industry, BSF uh, farming itself can be divided into different stages because like in same, uh, even, even in poultry for that matter, that will be hatching, hatching unit separately. There will be a grown out, a grow out unit and there will be uh, layers and uh, where the, the egg will be the output. Similarly, uh, we, for in uh, BSF, we can, uh, the industry can be wide, wide, totally wide, wherein we can have a BSF uh, unit just to give, produce BSF eggs, which will be consumed by the next level, uh, where they, they want to use the eggs for their own power to develop as a larvae and use it within their own form. Or uh, they use the eggs uh, to develop into small larvae and uh, sell it to either pet industry or to other um, poultry or uh, aquaculture uh, farmers. And the next one will be uh, selling as five dolls. The small larvae also they can sell to others. They have to just use the small larvae and um, develop into uh, grow out uh, that into bigger larvae and feed uh, to their chicks and um, the bsf as a larvae we can directly provide uh, as a product uh, to the poultry unit or fish unit of pet industry and bsf as pre prepare again you can sell it and this can be used pre prepare can be used as a mother stock as well to start a new culture of uh, bsf so that goes unprocessed even just you don't have to process it at all you just have to harvest and sell that, that itself you get almost four products and if you process it as an industry you can sell these different products like you can dry the bsf and sell it you can make meal out of bsf and sell it meal i mean you have to extract the oils and uh, left out the uh, uh, oil as tea fattened uh, product as a uh, meal so you can sell it as meal and you can sell it a uh, sell business uh, i mean bsf uh, based oil uh, so bsf also gives a compost right when the bsf grows 
into the from the in the media it uh, leaves the excrete of uh, bsf is a good source of uh, manure for the plants uh, because uh, we are mixing a wide range of uh, nutritious food though it is waste it's a very nutritious food and uh, that gives uh, after uh, consumed by uh, bsf that gives a product uh, that is called as fras it is highly nutritious and it also has the uh, skeleton part of uh, BSF, which contains uh, keratin. Uh, it's again uh, acts as a growth promoter in plants. So it is also the compost uh, of uh, BSF is also very valuable and can be marketed as a good um, income generator. Again, BSF uh, keratin, as I told you, this is a product which we can uh, extract from the exoskeleton part of uh, BSF. Uh, once the pupae, uh, once the fly gets out of uh, pupae, you will uh, get this uh, ex ex the skeleton part of uh, BSF. It's similar like uh, the, after molting, you have a molted uh, skin of uh, shrimps, right? Uh, similarly, you get the uh, skin of uh, BSF. And when we process it, we get a substance called keratin, which is uh, highly in demand in medical and cosmetic industry and a good value or has a, some has a very good value as a product so if you are uh, uh, into uh, poultry you can directly use uh, bsf as a live feed this is going to reduce the cost of uh, your feed and uh, why I'm saying is like from we can you can just uh, see suppose if you are giving 100 grams of uh, feed to your chickens, you can replace that uh, with BSF at least 40 to 50 percent of that feed you can replace with BSF. That means if you're giving 100 grams of feed uh, per day per chicken, you can substitute that with 40 grams of uh, BSF, safely up to 40 grams of BSF. So the, the per kg cost gets almost 50%. The amount you are investing on the feed is reducing by 50%. So the entire 50% will, will come down as a profit uh, for uh, you. And uh, what, what is much more advantageous about uh, feeding live uh, base of to your chickens and fishes is it's going to increase the immunity of your uh, animals. It's going to increase the weight the, uh, because it's a good protein source. So uh, the platable size will be reached within a short period of time than using a conventional feed. So the, the general health of the bird is going to increase and uh, the reproductive breeding capacity of the bird or the fish is very noticeably increased. And there are many research that has been done on this and if we are talking about poultry, the egg quality, meat taste, and egg shell thickness is, is, is visibly increased by feeding uh, BSF. As even for as a supplement, if we feed BSF, the quality in uh, the egg production has shown a tremendous uh, increase. You can find a hell of a lot of research that has happened already uh, in this arena. And practically, even if you try it yourself, you can visibly notice the difference within just two weeks of uh, feeding your uh, animals, birds, with the live BSF. So, if we for just for uh, giving you an idea, if you're focusing BSF as a product and uh, start uh, starting a small unit, just 20 square feet is totally sufficient to harvest around 10 kgs of uh, BSF uh, per day. So, just 10 kgs within 20 square meter is really possible, totally possible, just in BSF, Black Soldier Fly Farming, indoor setup. So no fancy uh, setups needed. Whatever you have with just crates and uh, a mosquito net, you'll be able to achieve 10 kgs. If you have done it properly, you'll be definitely able to achieve 10 kgs of production per day. So if we, with all the expense subtracted, you can easily get 25 to 30,000 rupees per month 
and when you market that uh, for your nearby uh, pet industry or for the poultry units. So the what the figure shown is a really a very practical uh, figure, no overestimation. It's absolutely possible. And scaling up operation uh, of the operation will increase uh, your revenue exponential. So if you can convert this 10 kgs to 100 kgs per day, just scaling up step by step, then the revenue increases exponentially because the market volume you can tap is going to increase. So uh, that is a big advantage of uh, BSF farming. The scaling up happens gradually and that is going to increase the revenue exponentially. That's the key. So who can take this course? So, uh, see, basically anyone who wanted to join uh, the BSF farming uh, fraternity, young, uh, young entrepreneurs or anyone who want to join uh, and do BSFS farming and give BSF as a product, this course is definitely going to help you to understand from basics to uh, what are the characteristics and why things are happening, what are the do's and don'ts. You can, you can learn from A to Z uh, in this course. People who are having existing farm like poultry or fish farm, this course is going to definitely help you to generate your own life feed for your farm. And uh, if you are having a, a pet, or if you are a pet breeder like uh, exotic finches, see exotic finches and all, they feed on BSF very well and they need uh, live BSF for, for getting into breeding. So even uh, many of the exotic uh, ornamental fish uh, respond very respond in breeding very well if you uh, condition them by feeding uh, black soldier flies uh, uh, regularly. So uh, all the pet breeders who want uh, who are looking for a live uh, feed alternative, uh, this course is going to help you. And uh, if you are looking for an additional income. Uh, from a small space uh, within your uh, premise or house or in terrace, you will be able to do that uh, with this course. BSF is definitely going to generate additional income, help you to generate additional income. And uh, educational professionals, there are many uh, research students uh, who contact me, agri students, uh, and uh, uh, people who are into educational uh, background, you know, in, who are into research based. Uh, 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 profession, they uh, they are interested to know about uh, BSF, and uh, this course will give uh, all the basic details uh, they require uh, to go forward with their research on uh, black soldier flies. And municipal and waste management professionals. So the the one part of BSF is farming BSF as a protein source, but uh, if you see if you integrate it backward. It is a, it going to be a major industry in handling waste, food waste or decomposable waste. BSF will eat and consume any decomposable organic matter you throw at them. They are so fascinating creature, you won't believe that the way and how fast they are converting uh, the waste or the biomass into uh, a good protein source is totally incredible. So uh, this, the municipal and waste management uh, professional who are interested uh, if there is any uh, scope for employing BSF uh, into processing waste, this course can be a beginning uh, course to know about how uh, BSF farming is done and how uh, you can employ that uh, in the in waste processing. And anyone who is interested in, uh, in sustainable uh, source of protein or conserving uh, environment, this course will help you understand how uh, BSF farming is integrated in, uh, in, in managing our waste. So, uh, and um, any home-based uh, uh, composters, if you have, if you have, uh, you want to use uh, your kitchen waste in more productively, you don't want to send your kitchen waste as yet another landfill. 
definitely I encourage everyone to go for a home compost unit. So don't ever throw the organic matter which will be composed, which will, we can compost ourselves in our home. Please don't throw, uh, send it to landfills. If you are interested to have an organic compost, that compost which need to, which will happen very quickly, you can definitely look for uh, BSF. The harvested BSF, you can feed your own pets, whether you are having an aquarium or you having your cat or dog in your own house, you can feed the harvested uh, BSF. It is a good protein source. Also, you will have your compost for your plants and also you have your peaceful of a peaceful mind and satisfaction that you are not adding to the landfills. So what to expect from this course? Uh, this course is uh, targeted towards um, both, uh, as I already explained, livestock enthusiasts as well as uh, future entrepreneurs. This course can be considered as a crash course uh, for uh, about BSF farming. And in this four weeks journey, uh, I will teach you all the basics of BSF farming and the re related production. So all, the, all my teachings are more uh, focused to um, understand about the production step by step in stages by stages, which you can employ in small uh, or medium scale production. Also, you can take it easily, scale it up easily to a large commercial scale unit as well. So how the uh, I'll just give a brief about the course structure too. Uh, you'll have an introduction about BSF farming, and um, we'll have an understanding of uh, what is food based and uh, how waste management uh, is done, and how things has to happen. How we are employing BSF uh, in waste management, why BSF farming, and understanding uh, the life cycle of BSF and timelines. This is important to really. Uh, know about BSF uh, and the, and this knowledge is going to help us in designing our operation even in small and la large scale commercial units. Then we will have a detailed understanding of uh, BSF farm setups, measurements required uh, for the farm uh, setups, what exactly, we, how and uh, what exactly designs we have to use, what are the materials uh, uh, options that are available for us uh, in BSF farming. We will get to know all the details. This part is going to save a lot of uh, cost and investment in the infrastructure because uh, the investment made on infrastructure can never be uh, retrieved if something goes wrong, right? And uh, it is a big chunk of uh, money. So uh, understanding and getting knowledge in that part is critical and it will be very helpful in the long run uh, if we avoid the mistakes and uh, do it right in first time itself, especially in construction part. So uh, the course is divided and structured in uh, production stages. And in stage one, we'll be seeing BSF egg production. And stage two, the five dolls, five day old larvae production. Uh, stage three, we'll have a larvae production, grow out area. And in stage four, we'll have a uh, PPP production. We have divided that in stages just to have a much more control on uh, BSF farming and how step by step we can uh, uh, control and scale and um, project our production. That information will be given and it is easy if we divide it in stages. So the course is structured keeping that in mind. And what are the challenges you face in BSF farming? This gives uh, all the real nuances uh, of uh, uh, obstacles and challenges we have in BSF farming. So, and uh, I'll be discussing about uh, economics uh, behind BSF farming, both for uh, people who are into uh, poultry or who want to do it for their own consumption, or you want to do BSF farming to sell it as a product for outsiders. So how this course will be conducted, I guess Mohit will uh, be able to explain it better than me. Thank you oh, so much. The presentation so far has been really amazing. Uh, and I hope everyone is very excited to start their own BSF. At least on a small level, everyone should experiment. So guys, if you want to know more from Anupam, 
then do enroll in our course the link is in the comments and you can or you can go to rocketskills.in and there are very limited seats left we are getting very good uh, traction very good interest today and this course will be in english uh completely and we we'll, but we'll be soon coming out with a course in hindi as well so some of you are wondering and uh, i have been asking this question in the comments so just wanted to clarify it how this course will be conducted is that we'll have for the next four weeks live class every week so one live class every week will be there this class will be mainly for interaction and doubt clearing with anupa ma'am you using her experience you will be able to understand uh, whatever problems you are facing she will be there to solve it and help you uh, like resolve it and start a business the important thing is you will get recorded lectures as soon as you sign up and over there you can understand the whole business the everything about uh, uh, bsa farming uh, ma'am has recorded these sessions uh, herself and these will be available with you to you for lifetime So you can access it at any point of time, but the live session will be happening for the next four weeks, and there will also be a WhatsApp group which we'll form over there. We'll be closely communicating with each other. Uh, Anupam Ma'am will be there. The whole Rocket Skills team will be there to support you in case you face any kind of problem, and there'll be uh, users also who will be in, uh, like you guys who will, the students will also be there. and you will also be sharing different kinds of messages and information for example over here in our mushroom farming course someone started growing their own mushrooms so they shared photos which of their own mushroom and how their journey has been which is a motivating factor so we do it as a community we do it together uh, because this is difficult and that is why we have this full support for you uh, from knowledge to uh, like motivation and everything guidance at all points of time the best part is this is very affordable it is usually for 1699 but we have launched this at just rupees 699 so you can go to rocketskills.in and start your business today start a journey to a successful business today so we uh, purposefully we have kept this affordable because we want to reach out to more people we want ma'am's knowledge to the, uh, reach out to more people so that they can start this and uh, like you guys can share it with everyone in your circle as well and if you have any kind of problem this is the uh, this is our whatsapp number you can drop us a whatsapp at 8356038148 so please drop us a whatsapp in case of any doubts or you can ask doubts in the comments now we'll be taking up questions and answers so everyone please write down as i can see ronald sir has already asked uh, as a question uh, rest of the people also uh please write down your questions we would be very like eager to answer those uh, and resolve your doubts uh ma'am so should we start with the question answers sure ramavat yeah cool so the first question is by ronald ravinder sir madam please uh, elaborate on bsa being a potential vector for disease transmission if you have data on this okay see uh, unlike uh, house flies uh, who engage into uh, human uh, who has a lot of uh, engagement with human activities like you can find house flies in and around us bsf is a shy uh, insect which don't get involved into human activities you won't be able to find bsf uh, even in, even in a wild you won't be able to find bsf that easily and there is one more factor is bsf won't lay their eggs on the food unlike house flies house flies has the tendency to lower on the food and lay egg on the food so they keep jumping from uh, food to waste and uh, come back into the waste and they lay egg on the food food source or which it consider as food source but that is not in the case of bsf bsf uh, i would say a more hygiene uh, insect uh, it finds a place above the food and it doesn't touch the food or contaminate the food in any way there have been lot of research already done uh, in bsf farming and uh, it has been proved and uh, that bsf is safe to farm uh, we have a big uh, bsf network in asia pacific also in uh, uh, european union in the canada that's happening in south america south africa 
that they have made extensive uh, research of is there any possibility of uh, disease transmission via BSF and many it is proved wrong and there is no uh, proven evidence that there is any sort of pathogenic or disease transmission via BSF. So it is a safe uh, farming and uh, it will be happening in a controlled way too. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, next question, we go with Vijay sir. So Vijay sir is asking, what is the investment required for setting up a farm of 20 square feet area, production mm -hmm. target 4 to 5 kg per day? Okay. So uh, you are targeting a production of uh, 4 to 5 kgs, right? So uh, you would be requiring anywhere between uh, 10,000 to 15,000 uh, rupees. If uh, you are having your own racks, then the cost is going to reduce uh, more. Uh, the most in investment would be on the crates and you would require two uh, mosquito net cages uh, to achieve this uh, production per day. So anywhere between uh, 10 to 15,000, 12,000, 15,000 would be uh, sufficient enough to start this production in this uh, 20 square feet uh, area. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, next question is, Vinod sir is asking, what are the basic requirements for uh, BSF farming? Uh, uh, the, I need a clarity in this question. Like, uh, you want to know what is the basic requirement of BSF um, to reproduce or to cultivate or basic uh, infrastructural requirement for BSF farming. I assume that you are asking the basic infrastructural requirements for BSF farming. So you would be requiring in, in a small unit, small uh, scale, like uh, the previous uh, question, if you are targeting for uh, uh, four to five kgs of uh, larvae production per day, you will be requiring around um, 20 to 25 uh, crates and uh, maybe another uh, 10 uh, crates would be an additional uh, uh, asset like you can use it. And you will be requiring racks, maybe two, three racks, and you'll be requiring two mosquito net cage. And that's it. That's all uh, you require. It's an easy, uh, uh, the infrastructure is really easy to start with because um, it's unlike any other uh, husbandry, the size of uh, BSF is too small, right? You can hold it in any container and uh, grow them. So the requirement is uh, very minimal and uh, very uh, user friendly, I would say. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh... Ronald sir also has another question. Will the course at the end provide us with where and how to get starter kits or rather eggs, pre-prepare, etc. I think we'll be able to guide everyone. Yes, yes, definitely. We'll be able to guide and we'll be able to even provide these things for sure. Uh, so Ronald sir, we'll provide you full support uh, to start this business. And as always, Rocket Skills will try their best. Um, Sangraj is asking, uh, will the fly be a problem for nearby people in the neighborhood? You won't let the flies to scatter around. Uh, we are going to fly, go the, grow the flies in a very controlled uh, environment, uh, in a, either in a mosquito net or mosquito net cage or in a proper uh, room, uh, cage room. Uh, the flies, uh, there is no possibility for the flies to roam around or uh, get. Um, go around widely with the neighbors uh, uh, the problem of more than the problem of flies uh, you have to take into the aspect like what is your uh, uh, level of production or level of uh, waste you want to handle if it is a small uh, unit uh, you want to handle obviously neighbors won't be having uh, much problem again it's a uh, waste and it, it, it would be decomposing and all that um, so, small unit, uh, close by neighborhood also won't have any problem. Ter terrace uh, based farming and all is happening. But uh, if you are going for a larger scale and uh, or if you are going to store your waste uh, for a particular uh, period before uh, you are going to um, put uh, or grow larvae in that, then there will be scale. There is one more aspect of uh, BSF. Actually, when you put, um, when the BSF is uh, processing the waste, 
the amount of uh, bad order the waste generates is it's, it's it totally get reduced if the waste is lying there without uh, being processed by the larvae there is a lot of uh, ammonia and the bad smell that is creating right but if the waste is being processed if the waste is in the bsf pit there won't be i would say there won't even not even a 10 to 15 percent order will be there so it's up to you whether you are going to store the waste and uh, for bsf farming or uh, regularly routinely the bsf is consuming your waste without storage there is not going to be any uh, much of problem as well as uh, smell or uh, neighborhood problems but she has another question uh, they have another question is it possible to do it on rooftop Definitely, it's possible. I started uh, my first farm, my small unit, trial unit in my roof. It's totally for, uh, possible. A production of 10 kg is uh, totally viable in a terrace or uh, rooftop uh, setup. Just you have to have the shelter ready. Uh, main thing, uh, it should not be uh, uh, drenched with rain because uh, PSF will start crawling out if there is more moisture, like rainwater pools in it. And uh, if that happens, the BSF will be crawling totally around the terrace. So if there is a proper shelter in the rooftop, definitely BSF farming is possible there. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, the next question is, how do you start? You start with egg or adult fly? OK. Uh, BSF uh, life cycle. Uh, the way we start is from either from egg or from tree pupae. Uh, we can't transport or uh, carry adult flies. So what we do is either we uh, get BSF eggs and start from there, from egg to small larvae, five, to five day old larvae, from five day old larvae to adult. Then it uh, pre pupates and it pupates and then it flies emerge and the flies mate and give egg. So that is one way of doing it. The next way, the other way is going from pre pupae stage, where you buy the pre pupae and uh, you make um, allow them to pupate, and the flies emerges from the pupae and it lays egg. You get the larvae, you grow the larvae, you will get, get the pre pupae, you reach the pre pupae stage again, and again you can complete the cycle and expand the production. So, there are two ways, two ways to start either using a base fakes or BSF uh, pre pupae. Uh, transporting BSF eggs uh, is done all over the world, but uh, the transportation of BSF eggs is more vulnerable in Indian scenario compared to transportation of uh, BSF pre pupae. So starting with the BSF pre pupae would be more viable and uh, you will have a time frame also to understand about because uh, when you get eggs, you have to immediately know about the processing. But uh, the pre pupae, you have you got a time frame that pre pupae, the juice to pupae, and you will do it in a cage. You will get flies. Then you will start getting eggs, and uh, you can go further. And compared to the price of eggs, price of uh, pre pupae in current Indian market is uh, much more affordable. Thank you so much. Uh, we have really interesting questions today. Uh, the next question is from GK Mishra. Uh, so he is asking how to market the product as I am from a village in Bihar. Okay, that's a nice question actually. Uh, see, black soldier flies, uh, you can, as I told you, you can do it directly as a flush larvae. You can dry it and sell it as a dried uh, BSF. You can process it also. And uh, if you have the capacity uh, to get hold of uh, poultry farmers or uh, fish farmers in and around your village, they'll be more than happy to feed a live uh, uh, BSF larvae to their chickens because the amount of benefits that is going to give for the chickens is really high. So if you can harvest the live larvae and uh, give them daily, it's a quick money also. For you every day you have to harvest and uh, it will be selling like uh, middle corporate so it is a basic uh, commodity when it gets established into uh, chicken farm and uh, fish farm so the marketing would be being in village would be directly selling live larvae to the nearby poultries and aqua 
uh, fish farm units. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, the next question, sorry. Uh, Vinod sir is asking, is there any government support for BSF farming in any final product? Okay. Uh, so as far as uh, government support, uh, till BSF farming has not uh, reached to that scale of uh, gaining the attention of government, to be frank. Uh, most of the BSF farming is happening uh, by our private sector. Uh, so, any support of um, subsidies or uh, any monetary benefits from government is not there till now. But uh, I'm very sure, uh, knowing the prospect and potential of uh, BSF, especially in waste management, sooner or later, uh, government will get involved as the industry grows. Got it. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, Vijay sir has another question. Temperature at my place is in some ways 48 degrees, he's saying, and in winter it's 2 to 3 degrees. Can I do right. in such variations of temperature? I think he's from Kanpur. Yeah, he's from Kanpur. Kanpur. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's quite a drastic temperature for BSF farm, to be frank. But yes, you have to maintain artificial. Uh, see, summer you may have to make uh, the place a little more uh, cooler where uh, you are going to do the farming. In this scenario, especially considering the winter temperature, uh, obviously you have to take a uh, base of farming indoor. You won't be able to do the farming or growth in outdoors. So when you are going for an indoor setup, you can have uh, the setup infrastructure wise, you can uh, have a, a heating uh, temperature control devices in place uh, if in winter and uh, maybe you can moist or make it a little more cool with the help of uh, spraying in summer but uh, the temperature differences will be quite challenging got it ma'am thank you so much uh, i think we can have this as last question since we are a little short on time uh, so, ma'am, here is the last question. Uh, you mentioned uh, about you yourself crashing initially. Can you elaborate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah those were the days we don't have much resource at all in uh, BSF farming. And that is exactly why I'm asking you to get enrolled for this course, because I'm ready to share the knowledge about all the mistakes I did and how to correct it. See, uh, in 2017-18, if at all we need to know anything about uh, BSF, we just have to contact someone in another country. I have to fly to Indonesia to learn about uh, the basics of uh, BSF. So it was tough, financially challenging too. So you won't get an opportunity to have someone as a backup or mentor uh, who can support and guide uh, in the corrective measures. Uh, so that is important and uh, what happened uh, with in my case was uh, one time i crashed my fir first crash happened because of a heavy rain uh, in one of the rainy season in Coimbatore. Uh, almost the entire roof got blown out it is a quite windy area and the roof got blown off overnight and I, as I, I mentioned you if there is heavy rain you in the larvae will crawl out in the entire space that's all you won't be able to do much about it. You just have to collect the larvae and uh, start the process again. So that was my first crash. Then uh, the trying out different media and uh, setup uh, in, uh, according to Indian scenario may lead to some problems and some challenges. And um, it was a total learning curve for me. And I, I did crash uh, three times. And uh, I'm glad that I did it because uh, I learned a very lo lot of uh, information and knowledge in those uh, failures. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, I think we'll have to end this, although there are more questions coming, but we do not have the time. But I guarantee you this, that uh, once you join the course, uh, along with uh, with rocket skills in Anupa ma'am's course, then we will answer each of your doubt very carefully. We'll attend to it and we'll ensure that your road to success is as 
easy as possible so uh, using mam's experience using our community you will be able to start this uh, like very fast without making less mistakes and build a profitable business so i am uh, the program was amazing i hope all of you liked it and i want to thank you all of you for taking out the time but before we end the session i would love to listen anupam ma'am's closing remark uh, to all of us ma'am please over to you thank you so much mohit uh, it was a awesome uh, session for me too uh, thanks for all your queries and uh, thanks for your patient uh, listening and continuing from beginning to end continuing watching this program uh, i would say uh, i have already explained the potential of bsf and this course uh, is the first of this kind in india you won't find uh, much of uh, training support uh, for bsf farming either in online or offline in india so with the uh, with the cooperation from uh, rocket skills we are bringing this course to you in a very affordable price please make use of this opportunity and get enrolled for this course i hope soon i will meet you all in the course thank you thank you so much ma'am yes i hope so too i still see a lot of questions coming up and we'll definitely have another session if required but would love to see all of you uh, on a course where all of your queries will be solved and the best possible support will be provided thank you ma'am it was amazing to host you and have this session and looking forward to a stellar course and thank you everyone for taking out the time on a sunday evening and uh, sticking with us for the whole session good night everyone thank you thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you